Hey everyone, John Xiao here, and today I have an unboxing and review of the Voltec Race 3 mechanical keyboard. Let's unbox it. This is the box that comes in. It kind of looks quite nice, so let's uh, open it up, slide it open, and whoa, okay, so the keyboard. Take that out, put it to the side for now. Underneath this box, we have USB cable, looks about five feet. And little riser feet to raise the keyboard to a more comfortable typing angle. And additional keys, colorful keys, and also keys to turn your keyboard into Mac compatible. All right, so this is the keyboard itself. Nice sturdy weight. It's made of metal, low profile, floating key design. Uses a uh, DSA profile, so the keys are all on the same level, flat. The Vortex Race 3 is a 75% keyboard. So it's 75% uh, of the keys, and it's 10 keyless. Very, very compact. In fact, it's, uh, when you compare it to a 65% keyboard, like this is the uh, Mass Shop L, 65%, this is 75%. If you notice that, it's practically the same size. As the, yeah. In fact, the, uh, the L is a little bigger. Close look at the keys, like you see that the flat key, the DSA profile keys of the uh, of the Vortex versus the uh, angular, angular keys of the, uh, of the Alt. Both keyboards are made of aluminum. They wave about the same. Uh, the difference is this is over $200, while this is $159. The Vortex Race uses this genuine Cherry MX switch key switches. These are the blue one. They're tactile and clicky. And it comes with additional keycap, so I wanna make it look a little, give it a different look. I can turn the gray, there's a red, switch it. Let's plug in the new keycap. Now I have a red one. So then I can just change it to some other color. Here's a shift key, shift key for green. Make the, uh, make it yellow for the arrow keys. Yeah, fool around, give it a whole new look. So let me do that right now. By the way, it doesn't come with a a keycap puller. So this is from another mechanical keyboard. Lucky I have one spare. So if, if you want to change the keys, uh, you got to be very, very careful or, you know, get one of these. Why, why Vortex did not include a mechanical key puller? It's, it's beyond me. Hmm. And speaking of stuff that they didn't include, they also didn't include a manual. So in order to get the manual, you need to uh, log online to download the manual, and the manual isn't, isn't that great. <laughs> okay, there we go. It looks like a little Tykes Tonka toy. Let's speak go on here. They screw on, and in addition to not giving you the keycap puller, they didn't even give you a screwdriver to attach this, so let me get a screwdriver. And then little rubber feet here. Okay, so not as tall as I thought, but it puts the keyboard at a, I guess about a six degree typing angle, a little more comfortable, so it feels fine. Connection to the computer is done via a USB cable. It's, a, it's not USB-C, so uh, it's just micro USB. Okay, so let's uh, do a sound test.
As you saw from the typing test, this version of the Voltec Race has RGB lighting. So check it out. You can fill around that, change all the colors, make it glow. It's, uh, it's cool. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with, the, with it. <laughs> yeah, it's neat. Overall, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, it, it looks good. It, it, it types really nice. Yeah, it's, uh, the feel of this keycap is great. Uh, I don't really care for the RGB lighting. I don't really think it's needed because uh, first of all, uh, these keycaps, the letters, they don't shine through. So it, the light only goes around the keycap without the light shining through. So unless you want to change the keycaps into shine through type. But on, on the bright side, these, these, these keycaps, the letters are very, very visible. When you compare it to, uh, when you compare it to the alt, uh, you can't, you can barely see the letters, but uh, the, the lights shine through. So the letters illuminate with the RGB. So uh, the RGB makes sense on the alt. Whereas on, uh, on the Voltec Race 3, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. So if I recommend anything, just order the regular non-RGB version. You'll save yourself 20 bucks. But you know, if, if you want the RGB, you know, 20, spend the 20 bucks. I mean, it's really not that much more than that's the reason I got it, because you know, 20 bucks, whatever. While Vortex claims this is Mac compatible and you can, you can have Mac keys, so it has the Mac keys, uh, the Mac mode is not 100%. Like the, the F keys, only the, uh, the brightness up and down, as well as the volume works, the other F key doesn't have, it's not Mac, it doesn't Mac. You press it, it doesn't do anything. Like the expose key doesn't work. So you can always program it. So you can program it to reset everything to work the way you want. But uh, out the box, if you don't want to do any programming, uh, it has a Mac mode, but it's not 100% compatible with Mac. Just, just, just so you know that. The pricing is $149 for the non-RGB version. Add 20 bucks for the RGB. You can get it from Amazon. I'll have the link below. But yeah, if you're looking for a high quality keyboard, made of metal, really, really solid. Like, yeah, it's solid as a rock with uh, selectable switches. So I choose the MX Blue, which uh, the nice clicky, because I like clicky, tactile clicky. Feels great. This will be my main keyboard for now. It's basically, like the elk, like the elk keyboard, but it's 75%, so you get the F rows, whereas on the 65% uh, one, you don't. John Chow for johnchow.com. Thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. Please like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.